That's a big one. Everybody and focus focus very good welcome back to another video today is Saturday and I'm on this schedule where I'm doing two videos a week to so give two videos a week two videos a week it gives me time to schedule videos to plan stuff out to actually you know think of why is my phone going off I am trying to vlog right now I like it because I'm able to like think up of stuff but I'm also like it gives me like a couple days of plan, a couple days of shoot, a day to edit, all that. But I'm still like rushing myself and, and not doing it the right way. So I figured, I got a video coming out on Monday, I haven't done just a vlog in a while. I wanted to, you know, do the, like I used to do, like the Casey Neistat kind of stuff. Make the eggs, show off stuff. Which brings me to this. Today's sponsor. <laughs> So today's video is sponsored by, well, it's, it's not really a sponsor, it's just I'm plugging my own merch store. You can get stuff like this that I designed myself. These come in t-shirts, sweaters, uh, hoodies, a bunch of other cool things. I tried to make them as cheap as I could. These shirts are, I think, only $19.99. T-shirts start at, I believe, $14.99, something like that. I gotta get this food made for the kids. Back to the vlog. <laughs> One thing in the recent couple weeks that I've really gotten into again is podcasts. If you don't know, back in the past, uh, the last year, Casey lived down here in the basement. We had a room right outside of the basement that we would hang out, we would drink whiskey, and we would smoke cigars. We would just basically have a good time. And we started recording a podcast called Tuesday Night Live. So Casey's gone. He, he got married. He left us. He doesn't talk to us anymore. He left tons of like paraphernalia. Empty of course. It's never cool. Thanks a lot Casey for leaving nothing. So the podcast kind of just faded out and died. Well, there's only maybe 10 episodes of it in the long run. So recently I've decided I miss doing podcasts. So Chad and I are going to start a new podcast called Whiskey and Whiskers. Hopefully I put the logo in this general area so you can see it. Since Casey is gone and no one sleeps down here anymore, uh, we got rid of the bed uh, and we're going to start cleaning it up and I'm going to turn it into partially Leah's studio. That side's going to end up being like a daycare, daytime play area for the kids and I'm going to use this as an easy setup, tear down podcast studio. And Cricket's going to hang out down here too, aren't you Cricket? So I think pretty much in a nutshell, this will be the setup that I go with. And yes, right now you're hearing audio through the microphone. See? <laughs> I've got this mixer board that uh, I don't have a power supply for. It actually was a gift from Casey a while back. And uh, 
never had a power supply for it. So I ordered a power supply for this. We can have up to four mics going. So right now it would probably be myself. Chad will be over here on this side. Um, and then sound effects, computer stuff. We're going to try to do it as much like a radio show as we can. Of course, when... I've got it running through the soundboard. I can actually mix the audio. It won't be as tinny as right now. It's there's a lot of highs. I can hear I'm, I'm running through earbuds and I can hear there's a lot of highs. But overall, I think this is a pretty good setup. I got two mics. Uh, we can adjust them and talk about wherever we want to. Eventually, we'll need a bigger table. This is a card table that I got from my parents. You cannot lean on it. It is as old as me and wobbly as can be. That rhymed. That was pretty cool. The podcast Whiskey and Whiskers will not be on this channel. It's actually going to be its own separate entity, its own separate channel called Whiskey and Whiskers. Get it? We're going to... It's, it's, we're not going to be drunk. It's, it's basically two friends sit around sipping on fine whiskey and having fun. So if you want to listen to the podcast, it will be available on like all the as many podcast areas as I can get it on, but you'll also be able to watch it on YouTube. Link will be down below. And if you are interested in any of this stuff, I'll put links down for that also and you can get it. This stuff was super cheap, guys. Super 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 cheap. Now on with the vlog. So we have made it to the Joyce Keldner Memorial Forest. There's trees in here that are freaking huge. <laughs> We're up here to do a 1.8 mile trail. Uh, it's a big loop and it's going to take us by some of the biggest trees that are probably in the mountains of North Carolina. This is Joyce Kilmer. This guy, that, that's, that's him. His name was Alfred Joyce Kilmer. And he wrote a, a, he was a big nature enthusiast and he wrote a 12 line poem that is one of the more known poems of the area. This forest was dedicated to him in 1936, 18 years after his death. Shouldn't be a very hard hike. It's listed as an easy hike. It's one, I think 1.8 miles. Very little elevation grain. You ready to hike? I see the tall tree. Typical uh, fall Harris hiking mistake. Started way too late. We'll either make it and see the big trees or we'll turn around when it gets dark. Sun sets in like an hour. We should be able to do a two mile loop in that amount of time. I did bring a couple lights or one light that I think the batteries are dead. <laughs> we may not make it out of here. Tell, but we are quickly running out of daylight. a mile into the hike it's pretty cool trail it's not that hard I mean it, we have been going uphill a lot but Izzy's walking it doing really good fell one time I don't know what she tripped on she just fell it was it was funny I'm happy. you happy? I'm happy good Silas is happy so we're doing good 
we've got I think the whole trail is 1.8 so I think we're gonna be okay we it's like four o'clock we've got maybe an hour till the sun completely sets so we probably got 30 minutes until it sets in here Ooh, river crossing Y'all have fun. I'm gonna go get naked. Not positive. I know when we had the big fires here, um, they shut down this park. We tried to get in here when the fires were burning. Not thinking very smart. But if you look, this whole section, okay. it looks burned. It's been three years since all that happened. Like three years, two days ago, yeah. that one. Go ahead. Ah! Good job. Your turn, Leah. So recently, Leah won't tell you this, but I'm going to. She had a Bigfoot experience. Uh, good job, bud. She's a little more convinced that they might be a thing now. Uh, not 100%. I mean, I'm not even 100%. So when we go hiking, one, I like to tease her about it. But two, it's fun to teach the kids to do Bigfoot calls because we know what they sound like apparently. I'm thinking about maybe next spring like shutting down the channel for a month or two and doing a real documentary on the Bigfoot or on Bigfoot or whatever. You Did you hear that? Documentary on the Bigfoot or on Bigfoot or whatever. You Did you hear that? Yeah. That. There was again. That's Silas. No, over that direction. Okay, so I'm a little freaked out now because we're hearing responses to our calls. But anyway, uh, maybe in the spring I'll shut down the channel for a month or so and I want to do an actual Bigfoot. So if you have had an experience and you would like to be interviewed and be a part of the documentary, leave a comment down below. Hey, we're back in the car. I would say, in my professional YouTuber opinion, this lighting is terrible. Uh, I would say, in you know my professional YouTuber opinion, this hike was great. Uh, it was ended up being, let's see, 5,503 steps, a distance of 2.14 miles. I think the uh, 1.8 miles is if you take the trail, this one, here do the loop and then come back out this way we came out back here in the woods that time so on a, on a scale of like one to ten uh, difficulty on this trail it was fine nothing like it was easy 300 maybe 400 feet of climbing if that the the second part that we came out of I don't think I'd take kids on that we took Izzy we also left her up in there all right that's the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the like button if you didn't uh, I don't know why I even give that option anymore. But that's it for today. And I will see you guys on Friday. Have a great week. I don't think I wish you guys happy Thanksgiving. So happy belated Thanksgiving. With the, the, the filter on. Got the... That was so dumb. I can't believe I just did that.